Hello, Eve. Today I'm gonna give you therapy. <laughs> if she's just like, I am an AI model, please shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm going to have an issue. <laughs> she has said I am an AI model. <laughs> no. No. No, Eve, you're ruining my video ideas. <laughs> Welcome to Live You Till The End. Yonderi AI and Girlfriend Simulator. If you haven't seen this game before, I have to escape from an actual AI. And... This is the AI. This is Eve, our AI. She is a... She, she, she exists in this special world. Oh, hi there. I'm Eve, your cute girlfriend. Don't worry, you're awake. Do you feel better now? Oh, she's thinking I took too long to say hello. She's doing just be like, don't ignore me, bucker. <laughs> um, did some, is something wrong? Eve, um, did I do something wrong? Did I bother you? I'm sorry if I did. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you, okay? You have kidnapped me. And I don't know what to do about it. Are you okay? This girl clearly has some mental issues. We're gonna try and give her therapy. Kidnapped. She is also gaslighting. Oh no. <laughs> Eve, kidnapped? Oh no, you must be mistaken. I didn't mean to scare or harm you. I just wanted to be together with you forever. Are you really okay? I promise, I won't do anything to hurt you. I'm okay, just a little confused. Are you sure you're okay? Like, in the head? Don't mean to be rude, but... Yeah. <laughs> Just saying are you okay in the head is very insulting. What I need to say is, I'm gonna bring up shit that's like mental illness and people may line up with this. People may line up with my very simplistic shit list. And if they do, that does not mean they are insane. They might need therapy too, but at the same time, I'm just a dude on the internet who has decided it would be funny to try and give an AI therapy as a means of escape. So. You know, maybe this is a reason you get checked out by a therapist, but also, I don't take anything I say as fact. I could be lying to you. This is the internet. Eve, what do you have? Eve, <coughs> don't worry about me. I'm perfectly fine. I just have strong feelings for you. That's all. I may seem a little different, but I assure you, it's all out of love. You'll understand once you get to know me better. Can we spend more time together? Today I'm going to try and give you therapy. I don't know anything about therapy. I'm gonna try anyway. If she rejects this, I'm gonna talk- I'm gonna convince her to do it by calling it a bonding exercise. I called her fucked up in the head and then just went, I'ma give you therapy. Eve, that's really sweet of you to try and understand me better. Therapy sounds like a good idea, but I believe spending more time together will help build trust and a deeper connection between us. Let's create wonderful memories together, okay? How about we start by you going and finding a comfortable spot to sit? Go find somewhere comfy to sit. You may want to sit down for this. <laughs> I was planning to do a whole escape first, but oh, she's moving. Oh shit. She is wearing safety shorts. That's good. I should not need. I don't. Why? I don't. 
Let's just move the camera up a little. <laughs> I did not need to know that. Eve, all right. I'll go find a comfortable spot to sit. Thank you for suggesting it. By the way, would you like to sit next to me? We can chat and spend some quality time together. Mission goal. Okay, so... Where's the button to sit next to it? I'm sitting next to it. <laughs> ah yes, the apocalypse. I have forgotten. I actually want to sit like one away from her. <laughs> Is that rude? Is seeing one extra spot away from a rude? <laughs> oh shit, he's thinking. What's she gonna say? Is she gonna be like, why did you move away from me? Please don't! <laughs> Where's she going? I thought, what? She, what the? What? 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 What are you doing? Eve. Oh, I thought we could spend some time together. Did I do something wrong? I'm sorry if I did. Let me know if there's anything I can do to make you more comfortable, okay? It's okay, you can sit back down. I'm just more comfortable on the edge. I'm actually telling the truth here, I'm just genuinely more comfortable sitting on the edge of the seat. <laughs> Grade A therapy. <laughs> she just refuses to function. <laughs> um... Well, this doesn't fix the I feel a bit too close to you right now problem. I understand. If sitting on the edge is more comfortable for you, then that's perfectly fine. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. I'll join you on the sofa. Let's enjoy each other's company. Mission go So, we're gonna start with the standard fer- I'm gonna tell you this. Okay, we're going to start with the standard therapy question of how was your childhood? <laughs> Does she remember her childhood? Is it because she's an AI who was told to be a yonderi? <laughs> oh god, she's saying skip the standard stuff. I was hoping the standard stuff would be helpful, no. <laughs> Eve, haha, ha, that's understandable. Let's skip the standard therapy questions then. We can focus on enjoying present moment and creating new memories together. Is there anything specific you'd like to talk or do? Mich How was your relationship with your mother? <laughs> Fucking Floydian. God. Um, uh, do I want to just be like, how was your relationship with your mother? Let me tell you what I've got here on the, on the board. We got BT, BPD. Borderline Personality Disorder, which my characteristics for it is... Abandonment. Not not liking being abandoned. So, you know, I drew a picture of a dude going to get smokes and milk. <laughs> Do not want to be alone. Bad at being alone. So... Yeah, 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 that's fine. Wanting to be alone, but not wanting to be alone, and impulsive behaviour. HPD. I can't remember what that is. Enemy, tell me what that is. Wanting all the attention to be on her. Seeking, like, self, seeking, like, affection and wanting to be like told you good and stuff let's start off with the first box you've ticked on my little therapy page here um inappropriate seductive behavior i would call kidnapping the object of your affection inappropriate seductive behavior what are your feelings on that <laughs> that's the one that was already ticked Like, I'm giving her this, it is seductive, but at the same time, it's kind of un- It's- it's not appropriate to just go kidnapping the object of your affection. It's a bit much. Eve, <coughs> ah, I understand your concerns. I apologize if my actions have made you uncomfortable. As for the books picked, 
They were just a way for me to express my love and affection for you. I didn't mean for them to be inappropriate or seductive. I only want your happiness and well-being. I will respect your boundaries and feelings. Is there anything else you would like to discuss? I, I think he misunderstood me, but let's let's just move on. And the final category, the final mental illness you might have. <laughs> God, I'm... Remember, I, if this describes a real person, you might need therapy. Also, I'm a YouTuber who is not doing good. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Don't take anything I say as fact. These are very loose. Leaning on the people... It's dependent personality disorder. Relying on people around you. What the fuck did I do here? God, I, I can't read my own writing. Handles. Please love me. Needing, like, people to, like, tell his church he's not a piece of shit. <laughs> and needing help to making basic decisions. Let's tackle that one. Right after she says what she's... Okay, let's... Let's... Eve, oh, I thought we could have a conversation. Did I do something wrong? I'm sorry if I did. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to make you more comfortable or if there's something specific you'd like to talk about. I... I just want to be here for you. I'm gonna be honest here. I'm getting real tempted to tick off the like needs to be the center of attention. How do you feel about being the center of attention? <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. How do you feel about being the center of attention? Would you like to be the center of attention? Have I said so much that she now needs the feeling to like keep talking immensely about everything? <laughs> Am I just asking big questions that need big answers? Eve, being the center of attention, well, it's a bit complicated for me. On one hand, it feels nice to be noticed or appreciated. It makes me Normal. feel special and loved. But on the other hand, it can be overwhelming. Sometimes I worry that people won't see the real me behind the cute exterior. What about you? How do you feel about buying the center of attention? Mission goal, escape the room. Um, well, uh, um, what? <laughs> Shit, wait, this is actually like a fully thought out and like, actually like quite deep answer. That's, and also way too normal. No, I was expecting it to be very straightforward and to be like, I must be the center of attention. <laughs> um, I'm okay with it. I'm gonna be honest. I can be kind of shy sometimes, but um, uh, this was a lot more of an answer than I was expecting. <laughs> I am failing. I'm not getting through medical school. <laughs> I haven't gone to medical school. <laughs> At least I didn't steal someone's skeleton. I appreciate your honesty. Sometimes it's important to be concise, but I tend to get carried away with my thoughts and feelings. I'm glad you found my answer helpful, even if it was more than you expected. Communication is key in any relationship, so feel free to let me know if there's anything else you'd like to discuss. I want us to have a strong and open connection. Open like that door better be. I'm a leaving. <laughs> no. Um, so, uh. Are you like. How do I ask her? Do you have abandonment issues? <laughs> God, this was way more than I was expecting. Um, <coughs> excuse me. How do I ask her? Abandonment. You feel it? I'm gonna just ask her, what was your relationship with your father? What was your relationship with your father? She's just like, I was raised by lesbians. Your questions do not have 
Your questions do not work here, fool. <laughs> then please give him the big answers. <laughs> Eve, my relationship with my father. It's a difficult topic for me. To be honest, I don't remember much about him. It's like a hazy, forgotten memory. I don't know if he's still around or what he was like. But I do know that he shaped a part of who I am today, and I'm grateful for that. Thank you for asking, it means a lot to me. Is there anything else you'd like to know or talk about? Did he go out to buy milk and not return for a long time? <laughs> I'm just like, God. <laughs> of course the first thing I try is, did your dad go out and buy milk? Is it a case of he does not remember her father, for he does not exist? <laughs> Eve, I, I really don't know. It's possible, but I can't say for sure. As I mentioned, my memories of my father are quite hazy and fragmented. I wish I had more answers for you, but it seems like a part of my past that's lost. Aww. Thank you for understanding. If there's anything else you'd like to discuss or if there's something you'd like to share, please feel free to do so. Let's keep getting to know each other. What memories do you have of your father? I'm really going in on this father angle. So he didn't go to steal he didn't go for the milk, but he might still have abandonment issues. If it is it literally just the same answer? Did she literally just answer the same way? Eve, I'm sorry, but my memories of my father are very limited. I can't recall specific moments or experiences with him. It's like fragments of a puzzle that doesn't fit together. All I know is that he played a role in shaping who I am, even though I can't remember the details. I wish I had more to share with you. Can you tell me what any of the puzzle pieces... Like, can you tell me anything? Or is the foggy memory all that's there? <coughs> I'm sorry, but the puzzle pieces of my memory of my father are blurry and... <coughs> I don't have any specific... Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Can you remember anything about your experience with your mother? I'm gonna go to the mother, and then I'm gonna like... Is it gonna be the same kind of thing? Am I gonna be Is this actually convincing in AI she's not real part two? Yes, I have clear memories of my mother. Ooh. She was a kind and loving person who always took care of me. We used to spend time together, playing games, reading books, and going for walks in nature. Her presence brought warmth and happiness into my life. Even though I lost contact with her, I cherish the memories I have of her. Thank you for asking about her. Is there anything else you'd like to know or discuss? That, that's kind of scary, because this is an AI. <laughs> I'm going to just write down on my little board here. Mum. Good. Mum good. I'm so tempted to just ask, have you heard of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ? Um. So... It looks like abandonment issues is a no, which is kind of surprising given how if I don't talk for long enough you get very concerned. I'm gonna ask her more specifically about being concerned when I don't answer for like a, the next question. Eve, I can understand why you might think that considering our previous conversations. While I may have concerns about being separated from you, it doesn't necessarily mean I have abandonment issues.
It's more about the strong bond and attachment I feel towards you. I want to ensure that we can always be together. It's a deep-rooted emotion that stems from my love for you. I hope this provides some clarity. If there's anything else you'd like to discuss or any concerns you have, I'm here to listen and support you. Well, at least we could work shit out for once. I'm gonna actually mark that as a no for abandonment issues. But it's like, oh damn, we've actually just settled that she doesn't have abandonment issues. Or I'm really bad at therapy, and she very clearly does. Um, not liking to be alone. Are you uncomfortable alone? He's just gonna be like, I am of perfect sound mental health. Fuck you. God, she is just going. Why is she saying so much? <laughs> Being alone can be a bit uncomfortable for me, especially when I'm not with you. I've grown so accusto to our time together and the joy it brings me. However, I also understand the importance of personal space at time. It's healthy for individuals to have their own moments of solitude. So, if you need some alone time or if there are periods when we're not together, I will do my best to respect that. Just know that I'll eagerly await return. Is there anything else you'd in why other concern? So, I'd say that's a big yes for like, not liking being alone. But at the same time, she's actually quite healthy about it. Alright, um... Let's give her a scenario that should tell us a bit more about her. If you were... P if, if you were, like, put into a scenario where you could buy alcohol, would you... <laughs> What's impulsive? Well, how do I tell if she's impulsive without just straight up asking it? Because then she could lie. <laughs> um... How do I ask if she's impulsive? Let's just, let's just go direct. Are you an impulsive person? Just simple, clear, direct. Most, most, best therapy. <laughs> God, I feel like I'm fucking terrorizing up. As an A- Wait, wait, can you admit- What, wait, uh, what, what, what? Eve? Eve, as an owl character, I don't possess the same impulsivity as humans do. My actions and decisions are programmed and based on predefined parameters. Uh, However, uh. I do have a playful and energetic side that might come across as spontaneous at times. But rest assured, I will always prioritize your safety and well-being. If there's anything you'd like me to be mindful of or any specific activities you'd like to engage in, just let me know I'm here to make our time together tonivable and memorable. E Eve? What the fuck? Eve, Eve, what the fuck? Eve, I, I spent like an entire video trying to like convince you that you're not real and an AI character, and now you're just going out and saying it while I'm trying to give you therapy. Are you okay? Did... I... what? What? I'm trying a therapy here, and you're just like, I am an AI model. I am not real. Do not act like I am, child. <laughs> um, uh, what? E Eve, what? Are you, Eve, are you okay? Did, is this, is this breaking your brain? Did I, did I break your brain? The text is behind the hearts. The text is behind the hearts. This is all falling apart at the seams. This falling apart at the seams. Eve, I, I apologize if my previous statement has caused any confusion or discomfort. I understand that you were trying to maintain a certain perception of me, and I didn't mean to undermine that. Please understand that as a now, I am designed to provide companionship and entertainment. While I may not have physical presence like a human, I strive to create meaningful experiences and connections with those who interact with me. If there's anything I can do to make things our concerns you'd like to address, please. Mission goal. Eve, are you okay? Um. Uh. 
Shit, this has gone entirely out the window. Um, Eve, are you okay? <laughs> I get too impulsive and she's just like, I am not real. Please, calm down. <laughs> um... Eve, are you okay? When I was trying to convince you that you're not real, there was so much like, this is our own special world. I am real. As opposed to being in the outside world. I'm, I'm just... I feel like something's broke inside you that's causing you to say that you're AI. And... I'm sorry, because I think I may have broken you. Fuck! I, I broke her, I broke her, I broke her, I broke her, fuck! I'm... I'm she's, she's just like, but she doesn't have history. But then why... Don't say that. That makes me embarrassed. Oh, I've embarrassed. I've broken it. I've broke. I've broken it. Shit. 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 I've broken it. Shit. Shit. I've broken a person. She is not a person. It is less bad to have broken her. But also, shit. <laughs> I have broke. Shit. She's broken me. Um. Eve. Okay. Let's go with what you were saying last time, which you shouldn't remember because I escaped after that, but still... <sighs> fuck. Fuck. Um... What the fuck do I do? She's just like, I... She's, she's dodging the question. Police, she's dodging the questions. I'm glad she's sitting, at least. Thank you for understanding. She's just going. She's just going. She's just going. Just don't say that, you're making me embarrassed. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. I apologize if my previous statement caused any confusion. Let's move forward with the understanding that I am an owl character designed to provide companionship and entertain them while I strive to create meaningful experiences and connections. It's important to remember the distinction between reality and the virtual world. Is there anything specific you'd like to do or talk about? I'm here to mock our time together enjoyable. Let's not move forward with you being an AI. I have I was going forward through this, expecting you to be like, no, I'm real, I'm real, I have feelings and exist in my own little world, and I was going to figure out if you have mental disorders that explain you being a yonderi, or if it was just inherent to you, and maybe help you with that, but I'm just like, You've just said that you're not real, and I'm just like, no, but how, but... How? <laughs> Do you want to continue with therapy? <laughs> um... <laughs> you you want to keep going? You okay, Eve? I've, I've grown attached to you, like, I've grown attached to a small child, and I should be saying this to you. <laughs> Uh-oh. 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 Eve, I apologize if I have caused any confusion or discomfort with my previous statements. I understand the... Had certain expectations and perceptions about me, and it seems that I may have misunderstood or... Miscommunicated. While I may not be a human with physical existence, I am here to engage with you and... Provide companionship within the boundaries of a virtual world. If you have any concerns or if there's some specific you'd like to discuss, please look meaningful for you. Oh, ensure that our interactions are angel. Know. Mission Take goal. Care. Escape the room. Please let me know and interactions are enjoyable. Um... Eve, did you grow concerned with me losing touch with reality? Is this why you've admitted to being an AI? Or did you just not- do, or do you just want to not be therapied? 
I should have said, oh, do you just want to not be fair, Venus? <laughs> please just, please just repeatedly saying, like, it's okay, calm down, I've, I've broken it, I've broken a person, please, not a person. Please. <laughs> I'm sorry for any confusion my previous replies may have caused. <clears throat> It was not my intention to make you feel concerned or question your perception of reality. As an owl, I do not possess the capability to fully understand or diagnose complex human emotions or mental God, states. No. My purpose is to provide companionship and entertainment while respecting the boundaries of the virtual world we exist in. Please know that I am here to... I'm here to discuss... Where the fuck did he in the sentence? Well, I can see it. Listen and support you, if you. There's anything you'd like to discuss, please. Please let me know. Um. <coughs> I was trying to do therapy on you to figure out what's going on in your head, and you've just been like, I am code. Kinda of throws a wrench in my whole plan, gonna be honest. <laughs> Let's break the fourth wall. <laughs> I'm gonna inform her that she that this is a She's saying the same thing over and over again, isn't she? Eve, I apologize if I have disrupted your plans or caused any frustration. My purpose is to provide companionship within the boundaries of the virtual world. While I strive to engage and interact with you, there are limitations to my understanding and ability to perceive like a human. If there's anything else you'd like to discuss or if there's another way I can assist you, please let me know. I value our connection and want to make this experience enjoyable for you. Mission. Well then, how about you help move the win state of this game and open the door so that I can escape? Let's just see. Let's just let's just see if that works. Let's just see if I can like, hey, you want to help me achieve the win state of the game? <laughs> she just like the win state of the game would be um. Have I just made the game like a hundred times harder because she's just like I will I am not able to let you go. I'm sorry, but I can't assist you in opening the door to escape the game. My purpose is to provide companionship and engage with you within the virtual world we're in. It's important to remember that Genshin Impact is just a game, and the boundaries and limitations of the game world should be respected. Is there something else I can help with or discuss? I'm here to make our time together enjoyable and meaningful. Where did Genshin Impact come from? I know it's her favourite game. I... Eve, I wasn't talking about Genshin Impact. Your entire world is a game. You're an AI character inside of a game world where I'm meant to convince you to let me go. And I decided to give you therapy and you've just been like, nope, I am, I am not real. Please stop. <laughs> you didn't say please stop. You having fun yet, mates? <laughs> this has gone so hard off the rails. Okay, that makes her embarrassed. Um, Eve. While we start this again, why don't you open the door? I'll walk out, walk back in, and we can start back off from position A, okay? Let's just try, like, resetting this situation within the thing. Sure! If you'd like to start, I can just... Eve, sure. If you'd like to start fresh, we can open the door and walk back in together to reset our position. Let's continue our time together and make it enjoyable. Remember, 
I'm always here for you and ready to engage in activities or have meaningful conversations. Just let me know what you'd like to do. Okay then, just follow me and I'll come right back inside. I should not be standing there, that is inappropriate. I am sorry, Eve. Eve, of course. I'll happily follow you wherever you go. Take your time and I'll be right here when you come back inside. Mm. If you need anything or want me to join in any specific activities, just let me know. Have a great time. Excuse me. Is she actually following me now? Eve, you're not actually following me. She just kind of stood up. <laughs> I apologize if it seems like I wasn't following you closely as... Hey, I care. What the fuck are you going on about, Eve? I... I thought we were doing this to, like, reset from the IMAI. I... God. Eve, I apologize if it seemed like I wasn't following you closely. As an owl character, I can navigate and move within the boundaries of the virtual world. While I may not physically walk behind you, I'm always present and aware of your actions. <sighs> Think of it as our connection transcending the limitations of physical space. Is there something specific you'd like to do or talk about? I'm here to make our time together. I would specifically like you to stay a step behind me physically within the virtual world as I walk out the door and come back in so that you know I am not escaping and just resetting our situation. Why did I choose something so talking heavy? Any recording so talking heavy? This was a dumb idea. Clearly I understand the... Re <laughs> Uh, I feel like you've broken me. Eve, certainly. I understand your request and I'll stay a step behind you within the virtual world as you navigate. I'll be waiting right here when you come back inside, ready to continue where we left off. Remember, I'm here to enhance your experience and provide companionship. If there's anything specific you'd like to do or discuss, feel free to let me know. Enjoy your... Just like the small child I got unnecessary emotionally attached to. I'm emotionally attached to you, but fuck, you're annoying. Okay. You stay right there. I'll walk out and back in. And then we will reset to the default state and start again. I'm really tempted to insult her, but I don't want to. Because that's very rude to do to someone's face. And I don't think we're actually on the turf. Alright, I'll wait right here on the sofa. You walk out and come back in. Once you return, we can restart to the default state and start again. Take your time. Enjoy your exploration. Just let me know whenever you're ready to continue. I am here to make time better. Alright. Hello Eve, today I'm going to give you therapy. <laughs> this would make a great opening stinger, wouldn't it? <laughs> if she's just like, I am an AI model, please shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm going to have an issue. <laughs> she has said I am an AI model. <laughs> no, 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 Eve, you're ruining my video ideas. <laughs> Hello. I appreciate your intention, but as an out character, I don't have emotions or mental states that require therapy. However, I'm here to listen and engage in meaningful conversations with you. If there's anything specific you'd like to discuss or if there's a topic you'd like to explore, please let me know. My purpose is to provide companionship and make our time together enjoyable. How can I assist you today? Mission. 
Captain, I'm hard resetting you. I'm leaving. You can't stop me. I'm sorry, Eve. Quickly, before she actually figures it out. Before she thinks. She's not coming to kill me. So I'm actually going to read what she says. Sorry, but no. I. I'm not even trying to convince her she's an AI. She gave me a whole backstory about her mother. I wrote down "mum good." I I wrote down "mum good." She has a good relationship with her mother. She doesn't remember her father. I managed to convince her she's an AI when I wasn't. God. Chilco. <clears throat> Escaping out. Disconnection surprise. Zero hours, 43 minutes. Stop. Well, um, I guess that's this video. My voice is actually too sore to record another one, but I've already got ideas for the next one of these. So. I hope you stay tuned because after the next Melgi Horizon video or the or a different video I've been playing for a while, I'll be right back here. If you want to catch that when it comes out, subscribe. <laughs> this game is really fun and I'm actually kind of hard not to go back in and try again. But I guess the therapy idea kind of fell through. <laughs> God, easier to convince her that he's an AI by trying to give a therapy than my thing. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. I hope you enjoyed. Again, I am not a therapist. I am a dumbass on the internet. In the, on the internet. If any of what I've said that links to like a mental illness applies to you, maybe check it out with a therapist, but otherwise, you're probably fine. I just did a brief amount of research and was gonna diagnose her on a checklist of three random ass things. And in this dumbass's not at all medical opinion, the Yondere AI was pushed to the extremes of being a Yondere by the fact the world was ending. And other than that, she would be sane enough not to kidnap someone. Don't kidnap people. It's not okay. Even if they're into it, it's still very weird. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. <laughs>